Hey, what's up everybody? Bill here. Thanks for watching the videos. Uh, we went out to the range today and I noticed that when uh, when we was filming, everything's looking like they were in a fish bowl. They call it the fish eye effect. And what happened is something happened to the adjustments on the GoPro that I had to change the settings on it to get that fish bowl eye, fish eye thing off of there. So... Hopefully, I just did it. I took everything off. Everything should be going the way it should be going right now. Should be filming good. But like I said earlier today, you'll you'll see this, and you'll see us go right out to us shooting at the range for that new gun, that uh, High Point 45 ACP. Man, I'm telling you, it was cold. It felt like it was negative 32. We just turned the GoPro on. And was it two minutes? As soon as we started to film with it, the battery was dead. I just got done charging it, and it was that cold. Then we started filming with our uh, our phones, our regular cell phones, to complete the video. It's kind of funny, but it was freezing, and our phones started to uh, die really quick because it was so cold out. I mean, my phone, my cell phone, usually don't die that fast. I mean, it was like. 85 89 89 85 percent when we walked back to the fit to the range and when we started filming with the phone it was like 47 percent i mean it died that fast so uh that that brings up the question about these new electric cars we're trying to come out with too i mean i can see that part of the vehicle industry starting to slow down now they're not trying to push it as hard but Man, if batteries drain that fast in a cold, I'd hate to see somebody trying to charge their car up. And uh, their batteries, you ain't going to get no mileage out of them. But that's just that's another video. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you that uh, the reason why the last few videos were fish eyed was because of the settings in the GoPro. But we're going to go out and get another one too. We're going to use this GoPro. It's a GoPro 7. We're going to use it as a uh, probably a slow motion camera. We're going to turn it all the way down and... Uh, See if we can get some good slow motion pictures and videos out of it. Or, uh, well, videos anyway. So, uh, yeah. Let's go right to the range. And I hope you like the video of us shooting this new gun. You can see in that video, I'm losing my train of thought. It was cold as shit. I couldn't hardly think making a video. I just, I just wanted to shoot the gun and get it over with. But, yeah, I hope you guys like that video. We're going out to the range. Back to Crazy Hillbilly Channel. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share. Today we're going to go over a gun that we bought from like a few days back. A gun that, uh, like I said on the video, there's a lot of love hate with this kind of a gun. It's the 45 High Point ACP Automatic. Um, yeah, I mean, I, it's mixed reactions with these guns. There's a lot of people, blah, 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 blah. And there's a lot of people that praise the gun. I don't know. I mean, I, we're gonna we're gonna shoot it today, and we're gonna find out for sure. Uh, what can I say about it? it it's kind of heavy. It's about what five or six pounds. It had it came with one mag, ten round mag, and the bullets on it. Man, the, the, the bullets on it, man, they're expensive. Today we're gonna be shooting the Winchester target and practice rounds, 45 ACP. They're 230 grain full metal jackets. Pretty good that's pretty good gun i like it i've been wanting one for a while to try them out i'm going to use it for pretty much a self-defense gun around around home and somebody breaks in <laughs> that'd be it it's not full auto though uh like i said man it is freaking cold out here i'm losing train of thought my it feels like 32 below zero um let's load this let's load this mag up i'll show you the rounds too for the uh 45 ACP and uh, if you're wondering why the camera is shaking and everything today is that my GoPro it's so cold that the GoPro went from like 96 to like 1% and within like two minutes in the middle of filming so uh, then we were having trouble with it last video anyways yeah yeah it was having trouble with the last video made the gun look uh, curved yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, you notice on the last video, it's looking like a like you're in a fishbowl. 
I'm thinking we're just going to, I can't figure out the settings on it. We'll probably just have to buy another can, another camera anyway. Another uh, GoPro. I'm thinking a Canon. I've been hearing a lot of good reviews about the Canon. Uh, oh, it's gold. It hurts to get it in there. All right. <laughs> we're going to be shooting that a couple 4 by 4s I have over there on the stand. And uh, like I said, this is going to be a short video. I just wanted you guys to see me shoot the gun. And I, like I did, I already did the review on it. And I'll probably load it up again because the cameraman's wanting to shoot it a couple times too. So we'll see. <laughs> so uh, let me change positions here and get ready to shoot these four by four. And the camera's shaking because the Colby's shaking. Ah, come on. What am I doing wrong? There we go. Had to pull it back. My hands are cold. I can't feel anything. All right. And the trigger in it, it's kind of weird shape. It looks like an Accu trigger right there because it, it has that little thing, but it ain't. It's not an Accu trigger. It has the regular safety on it, a slide safety. But yeah, let's uh let's shoot it. See how accurate it is. I'm only like seven yards away, so uh, let's try it. All right, let's go check this wood pretty out. Accurate. It's pretty accurate. This shooting is pretty tight through for seven yards. There's all of them right in the middle of them. Yeah, there's all of them right in the middle of them. I tried to spread it out, but it didn't want me to spread it out, in which I can find the bullets because they're in there pretty good. That and a couple of them went in the woods. I saw it. Yeah. So let's uh, let's do some fun stuff. Let's load her back up and let the cameraman Kobe shoot it for a little bit. I will be right back. Just loaded back up. I usually don't shoot new guns of bills, but we're going to try this one. I like this one. All right. She's loaded. Yeah, that gun does shoot pretty good. I like that. Yeah, I like that gun too. I shot it right off the table, all, all of it. Yeah. Come over here and look at it. Yeah, we have a pretty good gun there. I like it pretty good. It don't kick that much. Like I said, it's a pistol round. It's a 45 ACB. And oh, it's I being cold. It. <laughs> I broke it. Yeah. Guess 45 ACP breaks them up. Oh, yeah. Is that one right there? No, nah, that's just right. Yeah, it broke it up pretty good. Oh, yeah. Probably because it's so damn cold Probably. and it was uh, frozen in there. No, it's just because I'm not good of a shot. <laughs> All so, right, yeah. there it is. If you'd like to see more videos, comment, and see what else we'd like to shoot with it. It's uh, from Mansfield, Ohio. Yeah. You can look at it again. Born and made, Mansfield, Ohio. Right there. But all right. Close her out. I guess uh, this is Crazy Hillbilly Channel. If you haven't, subscribe, like, and share. And we're out of here.